Michelle and I'm a holistic nutritionist. So this week I wanted to talk to you about indigestion. I actually got a question from a client and I thought I would answer it for everyone because I think we all experience indigestion at some point. And today I want to give you some tips on how you can sort of stop it when it happens and some reasons why it happens. So indigestion is not fun. It doesn't feel good. It's when you eat something and your body doesn't digest it. Digest it. So essentially you eat and it sort of sits in your stomach. It can cause gas and bloating, feeling really uncomfortable and feeling a lot of pressure and feeling really energetically drained after. This is not good. We want to eat food that makes us feel energetic and vibrant and alive and really light after. And if you're eating foods that aren't making you feel that way, there's an issue. <laughs> So there are a few ways that indigestion is caused and I'm going to talk about them, um, sort of categorize them and the first category is going to be about stress, the second is going to be about mechanically uh, eating your food and the third is uh, sort of the types of food you're eating. And you know, we're not perfect and sometimes we have indigestion, uh, for me it happens very rarely but I remember it happening to me. Uh, years ago more frequently and feeling really tired after a meal, feeling uh, low energy, not being able to really go back to work. Um, and now that I eat in a different way um, that's right for me, I have a lot more energy and I feel really good and I really believe that's how we should feel when we eat. We should have energy and we should be able to go on with our day and just be totally vibrant. Okay, so the first way um, that I was talking about the category of how you can get indigestion has to do with stress. So that can be from emotional stress, physical stress, sort of anything that puts us in uh, an alert mode. So we have two uh, nervous systems that we can be functioning in, and it's rest and digest mode and fight or flight mode. And when we're totally stressed out, we're not in rest and digest mode, and that's where we need to be. So if something has happened to you, you know, you're sad, you had a fight, um, something like that, you need to sort of process your emotions and release it to sort of calm your body down. Um, if you've just gotten out of a really like high strong meeting and you're really stressed out, I've talked about the app Calm, which you can do a five minute meditation to put your body back in rest and digest mode if you're off to lunch. Also, if you're eating in a really uh, noisy environment with a lot of things going on, it's very hard to focus on your food, um, so maybe choosing a place that's more quiet would really help. The second category of how you can get indigestion has to do with the mechanics of eating. So when you don't chew your food and when you overeat and overstuff your belly, um, it's really hard for the body to di then digest that food because if you don't chew your food, there are large pieces of food in your stomach that the stomach then needs to really work hard at breaking down and releasing more gastric juices and enzymes and this is very tiring on the body and that's why maybe after you've eaten a meal you feel really sluggish and tired because the body's pumping so much energy and you know resources into the stomach to digest it, it's just draining every other function in your body. And also the same thing if you overeat, the body needs to put more digestive enzymes in to really start to break down that food. Um, also, if you're drinking with your meals, so you're, you're having really hot or really cold drinks with your meals or lots of liquid, you're diluting the digestive enzymes and then you're also maybe shutting down digestion because the stomach needs to either heat up or cool down whatever liquid you've drank. So that's why I recommend not having, you know, drinking large amounts of water or liquids with your meals. Um, and the third category of how you may be causing indigestion is um, through the types of foods you're eating. So are you eating a lot of cooked foods? So if you eat all cooked foods all the time, the body needs to put in more and more enzymes. Raw living foods, fruits and vegetables um, in their raw state contain their own enzymes and they help with the digestive process. So if you're always eating really heavy cooked foods, it's very taxing on the digestive system. Also, if you're not food combining, so you're eating tons of starches with tons of proteins, these are very hard to digest foods and when you mix them in, um, it's insane in the body because 
For instance, carbohydrates, starches, they start digesting in the mouth and they finish in the small intestine, whereas proteins start digesting in the stomach and finish in the small intestine. So if you have carbs and proteins in one meal, you're sort of creating this chaos because the proteins want to digest and the carbs are sort of sitting there and they start fermenting and putrefying and they will start making you gassy and feel bloated. So that's sort of why you know the types of food you're eating can really affect you also if you're eating really deep fried foods um and you know not really watching or thinking about the types of foods you're eating or eating tons and tons of processed foods that affects your digestion too again it has to do with the body the foods don't have the right enzymes um vitamins or minerals to really help digest themselves or to give back to the body and it's very draining um and depleting on the body so it's really important that you digest your food and if you can sort of mitigate all the things i've said that would be amazing so eating a whole foods diet in a quiet environment and really chewing your food um of course we all have functions to go to and this can't be you know every single time we eat but if it's the majority of the time of the time it would be amazing so here are some tips that if you do find yourself in sort of a, a digestion bind where you're not feeling your best and you feel those that heavy, uncomfortable, gassy, bloaty feeling, what you can do is have uh, ginger tea or peppermint tea. So with the ginger tea, you grate about one inch of fresh ginger into half a cup of water and sip it for about half an hour. Um, same with the peppermint tea and even lemon water. And this, what this does, it really helps with the digestive fire. So it increases it so the body will then digest the food quicker and also relaxes the digestive system. So if you have any gas or pressure or anything like that, it'll actually help relieve that. Um, the fourth thing I'm going to say is to give your body time. So that means that you're just allowing your body to process whatever is going on um, and to allow the teas and things like that to really work and to get it um, to relieve your system. The fifth uh, tip that I'm going to give to you is if you have chronic indigestion and if you've tried to mitigate what I've said above or, or if you're sort of confused about how to do that, um, my fifth tip is to hire someone like a holistic nutritionist like me or someone like a naturopath to really help you with your digestive health because if you're not digesting the food um, that you're eating, you're not going to uh, absorb and assimilate those nutrients and minerals to rebuild your body and you're not going to have really good health. So digestion is so important. It is like number one for me. So what you want to be doing is making sure um, that you're mitigating everything that I've said and don't be afraid to ask for help for, from someone to, to sort of get to the root cause of your digestive issues because it can be individual um, and everyone's a little bit different. Uh, because if you sort of ignore it and it becomes worse and worse, you're, you're just leaving yourself open to other health issues. Think about it. If your body's not nourished and it doesn't have the right building blocks, um, it's not going to be healthy and you're going to really open the doors to things like heart disease, cancer, arthritis, um, and it's, it's not going to be fun, even allergies. So you really want to think about that. So this week I challenge you to really uh, try out the tips that I've given to you if you do encounter any indigestion issues. But also I don't want you to. Um, I want you to more focus on how to eliminate maybe a stressful environment or not chewing your food or, or trying to food combine um, so that you don't have indigestion and you're really digesting your food and getting the benefits from it. So I challenge you to that this week. See how it feels. Um, and see how it affects your health and your energy levels. So I challenge you to do that. Please leave a comment below. I look forward to hearing about it. And if you have, if you're in need of more help, feel free to contact me. Um, leave a question, leave a comment. Um, I would be glad to answer it. So thank you so much for stopping by.